was 9.54 when I decided to leave. Claire said, where are you going? I said, I don't know. Job vacancy. I took my watch off and smashed it. Got an interview. I think it went well. I traded in my car for something better. I cut my hair and went to bed early. When I got to the port, it was too late. I spent an hour staring into the ocean. I decided to go home. First day, I arrived early. David from accounts showed me where to sit and gave me my own coffee mug. On the way home, I wrote a novel in my head. I know this is what I need to do. My alarm goes off at seven. The key to success in business is organization and a passion for what you do. I started to write, but then I had to clean the bath and watch TV and count the hairs on the back of my hand. On Friday, I went with work friends to lunch. We told jokes and laughed. Uh 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 I went out to a club. I don't need to write a novel. I just need to dance, dance and drink beer. Make copies of this form. Make copies, make copies. I woke up and I couldn't find my keys or socks. Where am I? I don't recognize this place. I arrived early. I waited for a bit in the car. Walking back, I took a detour on the way. I don't need to live in a house. I belong here with the trees. I can eat these. I had been sharpening this pencil for 10 minutes. It still wasn't sharp enough. I was cold. I felt free. I felt ill. The trees were lit with a strange light. In the clearing was a circular object. It was humming. Simon told me his joke again. I raised it to my ear, and in an instant, all truth and knowledge flowed through my body. The light of a thousand stars lit up my eyes and shone from my fingertips. I fell asleep at my desk. In my dream, I was a wild beast. It was incredible. In the morning, the living room was flooded, sideways on. Through the surface, I could see another world. decided to leave.